why is the topic of, topic of consent really important? I'm here with Amy Phillips and Carlton, or Mr. Black, um, and they are talking at Woodhull uh, Sexual Freedom Summit this year on We Need More Than Yes, Marginalization and the Dangers of Performative Consent in BDSM cult Communities. I'm Kathy Bartoli from TheIntimacyDojo.com. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. Uh, and this is such, I mean, you couldn't have timed the topic better, or maybe you purposely did that, but like that's uh, consent and marginalization is such a key topic right now. And I think there's so many nuances around it that people need. Having someone talk about it and hold space for that is so important. Thank you so much. Um, what helped, What made you decide to talk about this now at, at, at Woodhull? Well, I don't think um, you're ever done talking about consent. <laughs> I don't think the job of talking about consent is ever done. Yes. So it's not about the fact that we're doing it at this moment. It's just about that every year there's some sort of situation or something that comes up that, that again, you realize that your job is never done when talking about, uh, about consent. Yeah. And uh, a lot of times, like, um, when we present or we're like organizing an event or putting something together, um, like on, the only part of it is what people see, like coming up with all the cool stuff to have at a party. A lot, um, the rest of it is the behind the scenes things about how do you create a safer space? Mm -hmm. How do you create a, a, a space that uh, upholds consent culture and is truly a safe space for people to interact and to be in? It's, it's really challenging, especially if you're trying to include marginalized communities and, and making sure they have voices. That's how do you balance all of that? Exactly. Well, um, well, one thing that we, we're going to kind of identify in our talk is that I don't think when people talk about consent, people often talk about um, the fact that there are marginalized people that can be more susceptible to consent violations mm -hmm. because there's a power imbalance. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times there are people that are in power and have like authority or power or knowledge in a community and they're able to use that in a manner where they can subvert, basically subvert consent or they can subvert, can subvert people that are marginalized. And I don't think people really talk about the um, aspect of power imbalances in consent. So why, why did you choose Woodhull? Um, you're speaking at Woodhull Sexual Freedom Summit. Why did you choose Woodhull for this venue, for, as a venue for you presenting your talk, this talk? Uh, it's a very thoughtful space. Mm. It, the, the audience is engaged and you don't have to like bring them up to speed necessarily on some of the uh, basic points of whatever you're going to. I mean, I, I feel like you can really get into a deep discussion uh, about whatever your topic is, and you're going to get um, intelligent, attentive feedback. Sometimes you'll get challenged a little bit, which is all, also good, but in a respectful way. And I think that Woodhall is the place for ideas that maybe exist outside of the play space. Like This is a great thing to, to talk about in a play space, but people aren't coming to play space to talk about performative consent. So uh, where do you take something like that? And so Woodhall is a great place for us to do that. Wonderful. If someone hadn't ever come to Woodhall before, what would you recommend? Would you like what would you tell them if they weren't sure if they should go? Well, we actually address this because in addition to presenting, we're also hosting a mixer. Oh, how nice! On um, on Thursday night. So what we want to do is um, we know that it can be sometimes overwhelming. Like if you've never been to Woodhall before, or you, you perhaps have never been to a conference before. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. We do want to welcome everybody in, so um, it's important to say, you know, if if this is your first conference experience, how do you take care of yourself? Um, how do you get the most out of your conference experience? How do you kind of um, integrate yourself into that small like community that tends to form at conferences? How do you navigate it? And uh, how do you find a space that's comfortable for you? And how do you take care of yourself? Because it's extremely important too when you go to conferences to take care of yourself. Uh, all right. Well, if you, if you're watching this and you want to learn more about Carlton and Amy, you can go to the Black Pomegranate. I love that name. Com. Uh, the Black Pomegranate. Com. I'll put the link below. And if you have co questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll do our best to get back to you. Thank you both so much for your generosity. And I, this is a tough topic to bring out in a community, but so important. Thank you so much.
Thank you for having us. Thank you.